Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to do a shrink wrap of Old School Tactical Volume 1, Eastern Front, 1941-1942, by Flying Pig Games. It's a uh, Shane Logan game, uh, well, it's a Mark Walker game designed by Shane Logan, and it is pretty darn huge and heavy, because it comes in at 8 pounds by itself. So I've been dying to take a look at this since it came, but I wanted to make sure I could do an unboxing because I hadn't noticed one that had been done. So uh, here we have it. Again, huge, huge game. Uh, oh my gosh, probably like 18 inches tall. 18 by 12, I would guess. I can't open it here without stopping the camera. Heavy beast, as I showed you. And here we have it. So the first thing we got, this bag of four dice, and they don't roll well in the bag. Cards. Uh, I know there's something in here called fake cards. I'm not sure what the other cards are for. I don't think there were quite as many as as this, so we'll find that out. Rule book. As always, I don't know how many pages. Wow, only 22 pages. I can't be right. It's got to be 24. Let's just start numbering on the first page. Yeah. It's 24 physical pages, but uh, they started numbering right here. Nice full color. So we got a, telling us what we got here. We got a map, one, two, and three. Uh, There's supposed to be a Stalingrad map, but I don't think it's in here because I think that was an expansion uh, that is available. Uh, and if you got the Kickstarter, it came with it, uh, which I did not do, unfortunately. One of those I, I waited around too long. Uh, units, markers, turn drivers, doesn't really have an inventory. So we've got our rulebook. Pretty big print, um, which is good. I read some of this in PDF form before it arrived. And it's normal size, as you can tell. It's 8.5 by 11. So but, uh, you know, you burn yourself down with that. Scenario book. Nice. Well, looks like it's made... Let's scenario. Uh, order of battle. So I was a little worried that you have to use this to you know, each each page as a as a scenario tracker, but they are opposing faces on pages. An index. There is not. This is purely scenarios. And that's page two. So this is page two of the Hedgehog scenario. I'm not finding page one, unless I'm messing something up here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. There's page one of the Hedgehog scenario. Wow, so it's not even numbered. Let's see if this index carries over to the scenario book. And apparently it does. Because we have the combat. I thought those were page numbers. Those must be section numbers. No idea. Page 15, or section 15, is about the scenario. So let's go look at that. Got luck. Okay, there's luck cards. Oh, that's right, there's unit cards. Unit cards are the details of, of what's on the counters. Uh, scenarios. There's no index of scenarios. I'd have to actually count those. And I'm not going to do that right now. So, a nice, beautiful scenario book. Go to our combat table. A little wrinkled. So this is not cardstock. These are just a little glossy paper. Which is kind of disappointing. You might want to sleeve those. I'm sure they're going to get a lot of flipping back and forth use or scan them and print them on cardstock. And we've got the counters, die cut, so no need to corner around them. Nicely, nicely aligned. In the front, these are obviously the markers. Oh, pretty good. 
very thick, kind of like uh, Complex of Heroes thickness. All right, we got our units. This is really nice because one of the questions I had during the Kickstarter was getting uh, data too close to the edge for the counters, uh, thinking specifically of corner rounding. And I don't have to worry about it because they're die cut and they're just going to punch right out. I hope. And they do. Do you roll? So, your British counters. German. I was going to have those elite Germans in there too. The black. Yeah, they look really good. They were very well centered. Quality control in this was really nice. Okay. Another sheet of mixed counters. Some more tokens. Markers. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then the bulk of this, the rest of this thickness going down my whole hand is two maps. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna try to open one of these up and take a look at it. All right, I've got uh, I've got Thunderbirds set up on my table right now, so I can't fully get the map out. Uh, right now it's overhanging the edge, but this is the winter map, map two. And you can see it is pretty huge because these panels are not eight and a half by 11. Uh, on my ruler handy, where I would measure them, they are uh, like, Almost 12 by 18, maybe 12 by 17, maybe 11 and a half by 17, 11 by 17 most likely. So 11 by 17, you got 44 by 34. Huge, huge maps. Nice big hexes though. Very nice artwork. Let me get the whole thing in here. Let's see if that'll. I'm holding the thing, the phone up is like seven feet in the air now. Very nice. So there's the winter map. And here's a sample. I won't even open it up, but here's the here's the artwork on the map one. The spring map. Summer map, I guess. Very nice. Very nice artwork. I assume it's the same area. Just the scenario makes the difference. So the black black numbers. I mean, there you can find them and read them, but it's it's a little it's a little tricky here on some of the darker and some of the green. That might have been nice if that had been white or something. Uh, it's very easy to see here on the snow map. Not impossible at all, but you know, the contrast is usually what makes visibility easier. So who cares? Looks fun. Rules look great. Can't wait to get this one out. So that is what you get in Old School Tactical. Uh, Shane Logan did the art design there. Very good job. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Can't wait to get this one out. Hope you enjoyed. Pick up a copy of Flying Pig Games.